What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the EAFC career mode, it's episode number 90, I'm 31 years old and uh, yeah we're returning today uh, on the back of celebrating my birthday yesterday with some more big games in La Liga aiming to stay in the title race now our undefeated season possibility is gone, we've got Almeria away, Sevilla last year's runners up at home, Celta Vigo away, sandwiching between that last 16 of the Copa del Rey and I'll try and squeeze in a couple more games today plus of course for sure transfer deadline day as well so loads to get through on the back winning our first domestic honour with Sociedad. Technically, it's a minor honour, but it's honour regardless. I got a medal for it, the Super Cup. Uh, first game is Almeria away. Again, undefeated season possibility gone, but only four points for Real Madrid trying to stay in this title race. Ramos Sociedad. Good Almeria team, man. Make no mistake about it. We, uh, we obviously knocked them out in the Cup semi-final last year, but I uh, oh, so unlucky that is Alfie Devine. Turns and rebound. This is a this is a pretty decent team. And now we lost our undefeated season possibility against Real Madrid. I said that might be a blessing in disguise, but let's be honest here. This season, despite being where we are, I've hardly been convincing. That is so unlucky. That you want to see that on the replay there, just real quick. I'm am de defending fine. I'm jockeying fine. Not giving a clear strike a goal. And there's a shot the flex off Jarrell Hato. Who does it fall to? Well, we talked about this at length. One of the reasons why this year's game is so much harder than previous ones. It's because deflections, 50-50 duels, they practically never go in your favour. Here we go, here we go. Abdullah for Maestro. Oh, man's on the floor. What a chance. Yes. Come on, pick the ball up there. I need to win this game here. Need to win this. As soon as that man went to ground there, all I had to do was wait for our dude in the middle to roll it back to it. Okay, all right, back on the old terms. But, you know, we've been drawing so many games this season. I think it's seven draws already. It's not enough. It's too many, I should say. We need more wins and less draws. Yes, a draw here and there. A little bonus point. Nice to have it, but got, got to win. You want to win a championship, you got to win. Man, honestly, like, this has been so tough for me. As Abdullah wins it back and Carboni... Maestro, the Argentines just couldn't feed it through to Van Bommel. Tired legs out there. Had to play my fringe players like Carboni, like Maestro, like Hiker at left back, like Ali as well. Well, that 25-man squad rule we stuck to, an added element to the challenge, but it was a great suggestion in the comments, man. Honestly, fantastic. But um, one of the reasons why, and I know you guys have really liked this career mode, I've got a lot of great feedback on it. One of the reasons why I've seen quite a few of you guys have liked it is because of just how much ch more, more of a challenge it is for me. Man, oh man, this has been tough. Fresnader! So close to winning it. Without a shadow of a doubt, the most challenging version of franchise we've ever played. It's not, it's not even close, though. It's not even close, mate. Like, honestly, I get asked all the time, oh, Doxy Boy, should I, should I buy the new FIFA? Is it worth it? Do you want to be challenged? Like, do you really want a tough challenge? And the answer is yes. It's, it's a fantastic game for those who want a more difficult game. I've never struggled more than this. And as we now go six behind Real Madrid with 18 to go, next up, Sevilla at home. I'd say if we don't win this game, it's going to be very hard to catch the Galacticos. No, they've got the better head-to-head -head record so far as well. We don't bounce back with a win here. No, I think Angelotti's side could pull away. Vamos Sociedad. Simply put, got to win this one. I do hope I'm not coming across as moaning, by the way, because I'm genuinely not. Like, not only is it a great challenge for me, I'm also really enjoying it as well. And I'm glad you guys are too. Like, I can't even compare this CM as Yorkinus meant to one one to others in the past because if this was like FIFA 15, FIFA 16, I'd probably want about double the amount of trophies that I've won so far. Okay, I've won a few things, but it's nowhere near the level of dominance as years prior, man. This is such a challenging set. It's partly one of the reasons why, I'll be honest here, I don't want to end it because I'm having such a great time finding it as difficult as it's been. But also just in general enjoying the course of the save we've been on as well. But still, at some point we will do a new CM. Not not before long, I'm sure. But um, yeah, th this save will forever be known as one of my most challenging main CMs ever. If not, the most challenging. As Sevilla look for that leveller. What do you think they're going to get as well? Oh, great finish. It's the rules we're implementing into the save, you know, such as the 25-man squad limit here in La Liga. It's, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. 
Oh, what a save! What a save! Clawed off the line to deny John a second. I do think there's more goals in this, but... Oh, and again! Oh, come on! Cabrera. Play short, play short. Yeah, good tackle, mate, William. And Cabrera, the ex Sevilla left back, finds a carry and now a chance for a breakaway here. Keep running, Cabrera, keep running. Don't stop. Yes! Come on! Captain with the dagger. Saucy so that'll win. No, 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 Fuentes, I'm not really sure what that was. And Sevilla have got one back. I don't really know what my world-class, now 90-rated goalkeeper was thinking there. What on earth? I mean, mate, just stand still where you are. Don't worry about trying to get that away. Just leave it, mate. Okay, all right. Nothing I can do about that. And I mean literally nothing I can do about that. And so here we've got one back. Ten to go. Just got to grind this out. And I've said it before. And I'll say it again. Never have I needed to grind out more one goal victories than in this FC. Just hold on to that ball. Yeah, nowhere near enough time for Sevilla once I went to the corner there. And that will do it. Back to winning ways by the skin of our teeth. We'll take it. A rare howler from Fuentes. Gave him a glimmer of hope. But Sossi and I cling on. Question is, for how much longer can we stay with Real Madrid? So he just had a bit from Dortmund for Engels. I did say he's like the only player, or one of the very few players, I should say, in my team. I wouldn't be against selling if we got a really big big. He's approaching 30 now. And he is technically my third choice midfielder behind Crespo and Maldonado. But it would have to be for a massive bit. I think right now in January, I always say like January, January's a great time to make moves. But I don't think you should force yourself to make them. If the right deal isn't available, don't. Don't go for it. Um, and I don't I don't think Dortmund are going to match as much as I'm asking for here. Because to me, he, he's worth... Like, put it this way, if we can't replace him, then, yeah, it's... No. It, to, to me, we have to get an astronomical fee for me to consider selling one of our better players. Otherwise, it's just too risky to be without one of your important players for the whole season or a remainder of the season, you know? Right, following game, Albacete, a ninth place to good division side in the last 16 of the Copa del Rey and a chance to get through to the quarterfinals for the second year in a row. Vamos Sociedad. Ryan Yates at TM. Anyone see that? The, uh, the phrase I'm going to use for how I want this game to go is minimal fuss. Minimal fuss. No trouble. No drama. Easy, easy victory. No need for extra time or scraping a one goal. No, no, no. Get, get two or three goals up around 50, 60 minutes. Just put us into the last eight, please. Captain says, Gaffer, I hear you. I'll sort you out. 1-0, Sociedad in front. Abdullah back in form after a few games without a good run. Ali, two bar in Axia. Maestro looks to send him down the right as we're still leading by one. Second half underway. And I do feel as though a, uh, a second goal is coming. If I, if I really want one, you know, that's the question. Because at the moment, I'm not really pushing the pace much. But if I do, like that... They will find a second goal. It's one of those games where, like, you know, when a team's in control, they're playing at a slow walking pace, they have the ability to flip a gear, you know, just kick it up a notch. And once they do that, play with slightly more intensity, so much harder for the weaker of the two teams to contain. Exactly what happened for that moment there. The whole game, it wasn't taking the early league, I've been playing at quite a walking pace, quite a slow pace, not pressing much intensity, but. Once it was available for me, that second goal on the cards. It's came, it's over, we're through. Job done. I said I wanted to do a minimal fuss, and that's exactly what happened. 2-0, put us in the quarterfinals. So we'll get back to the main menu of one quick advance. And with all the ties, I believe, being played on the same night, we should see who we've got directly afterwards. Oh, Cadiz took Barca all the way to penalties. Just couldn't hold on. 
And no, we've got three more fixtures coming tomorrow. So fingers crossed we'll be able to avoid Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. But after this advance, we should have it. So big comes in from Maldonado. Don't even bother you, mate. Uh, in, the, in the corners, we've got... It's Batiste. Now a Segunda Division side. Real Batiste in the last day. Deportivo Alos taking a Fleck of Madrid. Oh, Valencia have got Barca. Perfect for everyone else still remaining. And Levante take on Osasuna as well. So yeah, Batiste, like Deportivo Alaves, uh, both in the Segunda Division. The only two second tier sides remaining. So once again, I've got to thank the EA gods. We haven't had that much luck in this career mode. Certainly not since we joined Sociedad, but... For the third round in a row, we'll take on a second tier side, albeit the best in the second tier. And yeah, another big coming in for Engels as well after a turn down the Maldonado deal. Again, to me, I think that the, the very least I would sell him for is 20 million more than market valuation. That's 55 mil. Because again, you've got to remember, like if we lose him now and we don't have the funds to replace him with a, uh, a player of similar quality, I mean, between now and the summer, with all the big games to come, you know, missing an important squad player, it's it's not worth the risk, you know? Right, following game, Celta Vigo, massive one as well. Final game in January, where after Real Madrid were held by Atletico in a Madrid derby, we can cut the gap on the league leaders to four, but only if we win in Galicia. Vamos Sociedad. Eight draws already this season. Unbelievable, it really is. And, um, yeah, it's just... I'd say one too many, but it's more like four too many. <laughs> you know, <laughs> got to reinvent the saying. Um, yeah, it's just just too many, you know. It's nice to get a point here and there every now and then, you know. Grind out a late late leveler, for example, away against one of the, uh, the big boys. But, oh, Fuentes, great save. Far, far too many draws already. We can't really afford to draw more than, I'd say, one or two more times between now and the end of the season. The rest of the games will simply need to be wins. And if we're going to win this one, we'll have to come from behind. I just don't think we can cope with Real Madrid on a 38-game season with our 25-man squad. Because already our team's weaker. We've also got less quality and quantity in depth as well. As to the challenge, man. But I just don't think I can do this. Oh, Canoose looking to slide through. Carry Cabaru just couldn't get away to pull the trigger, though. Yeah, so we're still down by one. We might have noticed in goal for Celta Vigo. That's a young goalkeeper we sold there. See, he hasn't grown at all. So, in the end, I think right decision to cash in. But it uh, looks like he's going to get the last laugh in this game here. It's still down by one. Like I said, need to win, not draw. There's no way I'm missing this. Carry Cabrera to finish. Back on double terms. Long way to go. Can still win this. Probably like the only advantage to conceding so early is that it can kind of like make you buck your ideas up. And because it is so early doors as well, it's not like you only got 20, 25 minutes to, to rally and score two late goals. It's like, no, you've got the entire game, you know? So time isn't really a factor. As Zakarian must finish. Off the bar. And Abdullah finds Kari Kabaru, his shot blocked. And Vigo will clear. But yeah, but it is so much time. You know, so much time to work with. It's almost like you just began the game, you know, of a 1-0 deficit, you know. Play the game to go. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm sure we'll score again. The question is, can we keep Celta Vigo from scoring again? El Canus on the run. Zakarian, lovely ball. Straight at the keeper. Abdullah chips it for for his latest run onto the right back in behind. Can he out? Hold on. Yep, that'll do. And Sierra stands up to his former teammate and pushes it behind in the near post. Sakarian's corner headed over with a deflection. I got my arm up there. It was a surely a deflection. It's another corner, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed. Another corner for Sociedad. And still we're tied, but it's all one way traffic! And if a first you don't succeed, try, try again. Carry Cabaru nods home, Sociedad in front. Almost there as Maldonado gives it inside. El Canus back to Diomande. And now Fresneda. Abdullah asking for it. What a, what a ball. Amazing ball for the dagger. 
Come, come celebrate with me for his nade. R1 down, down, this one is, by the way. I said I can't remember many celebrations, but this one, if you want to do the cheer celebration, you've got a, a teammate in mind you want to celebrate with. Run towards him, so he's the next man behind. And then on PlayStation, it's R1, and then flick the right stick down, and then down again. I do the raps it. I'm going to take him off now with a Real Batiste game in the cut coming in a week. I want to play him in that one too. Game over. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. When you talk about balls, that is one of the best. Oh, I wish you would have wrapped that up because that is one of the best balls I have ever seen. That was amazing. That was beautiful. Oh, I'm gutted. Carry Cabarouge played an incredible ball. Just couldn't wrap it up. Carboni had to It doesn't matter in the end, though. 3 1 will take the win. And say to Real Madrid, we're going nowhere. Gap cut to four. So as deadline day is here, uh, again, we've only got 12 mil in the budget. So because of that, this is why I didn't sell Engels. Because, you know, right now we're, we're still obviously missing um, a colder on with, with injury. We, we've only just got Matt Maldonado, to be fair. And I do see another injury right around the corner. If, if we were to get another serious injury and Engels was to go, we couldn't replace him with someone suitable. This is this is why I kept him, basically. It's not worth the risk. We're a 25-man squad limit, as we got on ourselves now. It's not worth the risk. Oh, no! No, why? what? No! Why have you done it? Duke, no! Oh, if you wanted to leave, you should have told me, mate. I would have brought you here. Oh, mate. If you wanted to go, I would have signed you in the summer. Marmaduke. Bang him in at Ellen Road, mate. We still love you. I wish players would request a transfer more. You know, not just from your team when you've only played them 15 times out of 16 games possible. Uh, a little bit of shade there. But, uh, you know, like, genuinely, like, I wish they'd request transfers more and say, yeah, I want to leave. Because it very rarely happens to the, uh, to the star players or just big names, really, you know. But uh, if, if Duke would have said, yeah, I, I want to leave Luton, I'd have been like... Well, do you fancy coming to San Sebastian, mate? Oh, that's gutting. That is gutting. We're going to get through deadline day really quickly, though. Again, no plans to do anything. No sales and can't make a sign and use the 25-man squad limit, and that will do it. So, speaking of former Sociedad players, Isaac has gone from Newcastle to Manchester United, £37 million. Lazaro left Leipzig to join Monaco for 44 mil, and Musa has joined Athletic Bilbao for just shy of £38 million from Fiorentina. And, of course, we know Duke went for 39.4 mil. If, if you'd have told me, bro, I would have brought you to San Sebastian in the summer, mate. That's that's so disappointing. But yeah, w window closing again. In my opinion, I always think that's the best thing to do in January. Play it safe. Unless you've got like an astronomical amount of money to work with, don't sell one of your best players, or if not, then even just your important players you often play. Engels may not be a starter in this team, but he does play the majority of games, either from the bench or starting in midweek clashes when I need to give Maldonado or Crespo a breather. So, yeah, let's do it then. Uh, following game, straight into the next one. Quarterfinals, league leaders in the second tier, Real Batiste. They'll definitely be bouncing straight back up to La Liga, no doubt about it. And now they want to pull off a cup set as well. Real Batiste away in Seville in the last state of the Copa del Rey. I can't get over this Batiste team. It's fantastic. What are they doing in the second tier? They should be in the Europa League or something. It's for an all star. It's incredible. Keen, Nonto, oh, <laughs> Morato, Shures. I mean, they, they got relegated, and the stars were like, should we should we leave? Go go to a European team, or should we just tear up the Secunda division? Well, in the end, they chose the latter, and um, well, as things stand, they're on course for a pretty comfortable bounce back into the uh, into the top tier, but hopefully not into the last day of the Copa del Rey as Zakarian says that is not going to happen. The Russian with the finish and Sociedad lead inside the first ten. I call it a cup set for Batista to go through. It wouldn't be much of one. Their team's always as good as mine. And this to Cabrera and to Karian. Going to feed through Cabrera. Getting a lot of boost here, being a former Sevilla player. Oh, what a ball, though. And he's, oh, almost got a lovely assist. Abdullah denied. And Batiste still breathing for now. Still up by one. Does that happen in other countries, by the way? Just curious for those that uh, may be Spanish or just, just any other country. In England, you get out a lot like a... Um, 
a former player of a club's rival going to that club's ground often gets booed relentlessly, you know? Like, if it's an Arsenal player, for example, moving on, he'll go to Spurs and get booed relentlessly. Does that happen in other countries? I don't know why. I've, I've always kind of liked that, you know? I don't know why. Showing that rivalry is uh, still, still well and truly on, even if they leave that club. But that's a throwaway for me, that. And Moyes Keane has just levelled it for second tier Batiste. Can't be doing that on ultimate Doxy boy, especially when I get to four and a half star side. Come on now. Plenty to go and to go. And to be fair, despite that one chance which Sevilla take uh, sorry, Batiste take I should say. Oh, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get booed myself for saying Sevilla accidentally. We've been in control. And Abdullah says, Gaffer, don't worry about it, mate. I've got you, we've got you. Lead restored. Sausage out back in front and the captain is back in form. Six on the clock almost there is a Karian. Gives it back to Cabrera. Boo! As he launched it long to Zakarian and worked forward. Abdullah. Back to Boo! Cabrera down the right. Abdullah. Oh, what a ball! Oh, what a ball! And El Canoos wraps it up. Cabrera's loving it. Winding up the Batiste fans. And Sociedad get the dagger late. What a ball. I want to see that on the replay, mate. Absolutely brilliant ball into El Canoose. And the Moroccan with the finish wraps it up. Abdullah plays it all the way back. And the first time ball, absolutely fantastic by Zakarian, I think it was. Right on the money. And that will do it. Real Betis pushed us all the way, but the Segunda Division side's run comes to an end here in the last day. Sociedad are back in the final four of the Copa del Rey. Heated encounter in Seville. Oh, that's a car, Ian. Oh, look at that. I want to, I just had to see that again on the replay, mate. That is just... Look at it. It's not just threading the needle here, but it's, it's timing it perfectly so El Canu stays on side as well. That is just an amazing ball through by Zakaria and that. I couldn't believe that at the, uh, at the start, I wasn't getting on with the Russian. I wasn't liking him. Now, he's my favourite Russian. I absolutely love him, mate. So that's us through to the semis. And a Barca, no, Barca are out. Valencia, Atletico and Osasuna remain. And with all due respect, Osasuna's team, to be fair, is really good. But I would prefer to take them on ahead of Valencia or last year's La Liga champions of Fledico. So here we go then in the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey. Real Sociedad will be taking on... Oh, no, it's a Super Copa, hold on. Valencia. Valencia in the final four. So last year's lead champions of Fledico have on Sassuna, and we'll take on Valencia with the first leg of the Mestalla. Going to be a tough one now. Right, let's do a couple more, yeah? Following game as the champions come to the Reali Arena. Second versus third as Atletico are in San Sebastian. And I'd say right now, because of the gap in points, if we beat them, I'd say the chance of them retaining their title is incredibly unlikely. Massive game for both, though. Both playing catch-up to Real Madrid. Vamos Sociedad. Chris both wins it back. And carry Cabaru to Ize through the gap to El Canus. Oh, lovely build-up. Oh, wonderful, fantastic, brilliant, and Onai Simon says, how about amazing, save, what a stop by Atletico's number one, and it's still 0-0. That is an amazing reactionary save by the Spaniard. It's James attacking down the right, the Cobham Academy graduate, and it's Matthias Tell looks for space, Diamande says, give me that ball, and we shall get it away. Still tied at 0-0, but opening goal's coming. Zakarian, can he control? Yes, he... Oh, brilliant from the Russian. Fantastic. Yes! And this time, Simon can't provide the heroics. Sociedad in front. Come on! Corner. Sociedad. Zakarian to take. Floats one in. And Abdullah heads just off time with a final chance. And I've got to see this out. We've got to grind out a one in again. So be it. Simply put, we have to keep pace with Real. Easy, easy. Cabrera beaten. And I see Matthias Ted in the middle. And Fuentes gets low down well to his right. Down well low to his right, sorry. <laughs> and we're getting it away. And now it's led to a breakaway too. Oh, what a tackle on Carrie Cabrera that is. 
And it's still 1-0. Simeone firing up his Atletico side of the break for sure, man. As expected, knowing what's at stake. Still 1-0. But I do see there being another goal. If we get it, I think we'll be all right. If Atletico get it, uh, we're feeling very nervous indeed. Jao Felix to Matthias Tau. The ex-Bayern man into the middle. No, no, no. What are you thinking, young man? You cannot beat that Costa Rican from that angle. He's 90 overall, I'll have you know, if I haven't mentioned it already. As we're still leading by one with a deflection. Oh, Omari, thank God it fell to the centre half. Of all the players that I could fall to, Simeone was thinking, please not Omari. And it's exactly who it was. The centre half just saw the adrenaline curse through his veins and he couldn't keep his composure. And it's a let off. And it could be one. Oh, that could have ended it for Atletico. But that's what Omari can do defend well. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Maestro wins it back. And Zakarian. Hold on a sec. Oh! Well, that would have been a wonderful way to wrap up one of the biggest wins of the season. Roof of the net grazed. Simon was back trotting. No goalkeeper wants to be the goalkeeper that concedes that halfway line goal. He was close to joining Neil Sullivan there. Still, we lead by two. I think it's over now, anyway. It's, it's game. Yep, that will do it. Massive victory for Sociedad. And we'll keep pace with Real Madrid. Huge three points. We'll need to find out how they get on. Because the gap's still four and their head-to-head -head record is better. Listen, it's a big win. And it blunts Atletico's chance of staying in the title race. But... It won't be much to celebrate if the gap remains the same. And no, in the end, Real did get the win of the Bernabeu, so they're still top by four, but at least we're showing to them we're going nowhere, even though I think this three-horse race has now become a two-horse race. But I think we'll leave it there for today's episode, guys, because I want to play both legs of the Cup semi-final in the next one, and that first leg is in midweek. So we'll leave it there for today, guys. Big thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed today's dramatic episode. If you have enjoyed it, then please do drop a like. Five wins on the trot for Real Sociedad. The question is, with the Champions League, first leg of the last 16 coming next episode as well, can we keep our treble dreams alive? Or will one have to go? Well, I'll see you for the next episode where we've got the cup semi-final, both legs, and the first leg of the Champions League last 16 and more big games in the league coming as well very soon.